Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today I have the vacuum chamber again. Let's close the door real quick. I have a little mechanism in there which was originally made for drones to drop small objects uh, remotely. So I can uh, push this button here and you can see it dropped a little metal ring. Now, let's reset this. If I put something underneath of this that is sensitive to impact, such as, oh, apparently it's almost dry, nitrogen triiodide, then I should be able to set it off remotely. So I'm going to turn on a lamp. This will increase the temperature and finish drying out the nitrogen triiodide. So I'll let this sit for a few minutes and then I'll be back to set it off. So it's been a little while. Let's zoom the camera in here and let's see what happens when we drop the metal ring. <laughs> it exploded. So now let's reset and do the same thing with this chamber under vacuum. Let's see if this stuff goes off and it's uh, in a reduced pressure environment. Now actually the uh, vacuuming will cause this to dry out faster. The reduced pressure will cause the water that's there to boil. Basically I'll end up uh, almost freeze drying it. Although I'm not sure if it'll actually freeze. quite dry yet so we're good. But you see all that happened there is the seal wasn't made and so it was blowing it all over the place as it was leaking air into the chamber. Okay, let me just set a weight on here to keep it in place while that's occurring. Hopefully that doesn't actually cause it to set off. <laughs> okay. Still not a big deal. Let's reset this. See if I can help the seal happen a little faster. All right. We've got a good seal now. Set the air vacuum out. And I'll try to keep the camera on it in case it explodes while it's depressurizing. Alright, I think we're ready. It's uh, been drying for a little while. It's under vacuum. Start the slow-mo camera. I'm going to drop the ring in two seconds. <laughs> See that? It just bounced off the nitrogen triiodide. It did not set it off. <laughs> Let's uh, try hitting it with the laser then. Okay. Oh! That set it off. Okay. <laughs> Made very little noise. So it will explode in the vacuum. And I suspect it's a little bit less sensitive. That would make sense. I feel like I did a number on that paper there. Let's try hitting some of these little pieces down. They're down there. And then they kind of bounce around. Let's turn the pump off. So there you have it. Something as sensitive as the uh, iodine touch powder will explode in a vacuum. It is definitely less sensitive. You'll notice that the ring did not set it off. Uh, if you think about it, uh, at normal air pressure, uh, at my altitude about 12 psi, the pressure is already 
12 psi plus whatever pressure is generated from the impact of the ring. In the vacuum, you only have the pressure from the impact of the ring, and that was not enough to set it off. And, and of course, in order to set off explosives, you need both pressure and heat. Heat can come from the friction of the crystals breaking, but the pressure either needs to come from the atmosphere or some other form of confinement. Uh, this stuff reacts so quickly that it probably generated its own pressure. Uh, the, the gas is expanding from you know, the stuff that was being heated by the laser. Uh, created a little bit of atmosphere there. You know, as it's rushing away, it's uh, pushing onto the explosives, generating pressure, and then it's able to just propagate out. <laughs> You'll notice everything in there has a nice coating of iodine vapor. See the plastic is a little bit yellowed. <laughs> It'll probably cause the gold in my cube to flake if it gets iodine into it. Uh, oh well. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.